to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Follow me as I share with you a rundown of the rules of engagement. You want to walk in dominion practically? Here are the biblical keys. All together, they are called the ordinances of heaven. Number one. Are you ready? The first ordinance of heaven that controls dominion is the knowledge. Knowledge, in fact. But more particularly, the knowledge of the promises of God. Knowledge. That means dominion in this kingdom was tied and bound to knowledge based on the ordinances of God. There cannot be dominion in ignorance. Is someone learning now? Yes. That is the purpose of scripture, to help you gain knowledge of the principles. I have taught you here that the Bible essentially contains three things. Number one, promises. Number two, principles. Number three, prophecies. You must know what the Bible says. Not just have a Bible. You must know what scripture says. A few scripture. A few scriptures for to establish this point. John chapter 8 and verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. Not just have the truth. You can be around the truth. It will not profit you. You can be in possession of the truth. It will not profit you. Like many people have their Bibles, they hold it sanctimoniously, they move around. Many people have their libraries full of all kinds of Bibles. Contained in those books are kingdom secrets. And yet they continue to suffer. Somebody say knowledge. Psalms 49 and verse 20. We already established that. That man that is in honor and does not know it, he will die like a beast in the field. Luke chapter 4, please, from verse 15 to 17. Is God helping us? Say amen. amen. The Bible says, and he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. We're reading to 17. Next verse. And it came to pass where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Watch this now, verse 17. And there was delivered unto him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found. Oh, I like this. When he opened the book, when did he find? There are many things you will only find when you open the book. There are many realms you will only find when you open the book. There are many testimonies you will only find when you open the book. The Bible says when he opened the book, he found. For someone, this is your word tonight. God is telling you, you have not found many things because you have closed the book. If you have a determination to open the book, you will find. Now the Bible says, please keep that scripture. He found the place where it was written when you find the place where it is written now you have committed god i told you god is only committed to the degree to which it is written not just to the degree to which he loves you not just the degree to which he's powerful god is committed please listen burn this in your spirit if you want to walk in dominion no wonder this already answers the question why children or people can be dying around the world and yet the almighty god who is full of love many people say why does evil happen to good people because the modus operandi of heaven is by the word of god not just his love he loves everybody but he is bound to his word 
the principles contained therein if you lack knowledge of scripture knowledge of the promises of god you are far from walking in dominion can i tell you if you are not exerting dominion someone or something will exert it on you is that true give us that scripture let's finish it up he found he opened the book and he found the place where it was written in the name of jesus may you found where it was written yeah. open the place and find where it is written that regardless your background you will be exalted above the nations of the earth when you find it god is ready to come to to be committed to your affairs the knowledge of the promises say knowledge in the name of jesus obtain grace to fight ignorance now you see why it is important to come to the house of god because among the many things that are served in the house of god according to jeremiah 3 15 is knowledge 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 it says and i will give you pastors according unto my heart they will feed you with knowledge and understanding two important elements i'm going to connect them shortly someone say knowledge ignorance is terrible the bible shows us and even history and today's world our living today tells us the moment you are in ignorance any kind and any level of ignorance it will come with a cost rules of engagement you want to operate the ordinances of heaven number one you must understand that dominion is knowledge dependent high level spiritual illumination knowledge you must know what is there for you i remember an old story i can't remember which preacher um spoke about it but it's a very old story about someone who boarded a ship going somewhere and the person did not know that part of the the, the ticket he purchased had free maybe dinner or so and the guy was starving quietly in his room happy and grateful for even being in that ship and his position was vacant every night and then one of the attendants came to knock his door to find out if he was all right and he said look i'm fine he was managing a biscuit or something every day would take a little of it and they said sorry we noticed you've not come to eat ah no 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 i can't don't embarrass me i'm more than happy to be here i'm only praying that we arrive safely and the woman had to educate him to tell him no 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 it was already covered in your ticket and the man was angry like some of you are angry now that so i could be blessed five years ago so i could be lifted 10 years ago so these demons didn't have that kind of power over me you can imagine that that man will say go on let's count from how many days we started <laughs> ah everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you hey. everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me now is it making sense to you what we began to discuss that the expressions of dominion has to do with number one creation slash manifestation two correction and restoration correction and manifest and restoration so knowledge very quickly let's rush number two what is the second ordinance of heaven as far as walking in dominion is concerned are you ready the knowledge of the conditions or demands that activate the promises it is one thing to know the promises but you must know the conditions and the demands that activates the operation of those promises please write this down this is what the bible calls understanding write it please knowledge as powerful as it is is only the first key you can have knowledge and still perish mm. knowledge here talks about awareness i know that it is in my destiny to be great i know that i am a believer in christ i should be raised i'm raised above situations and circumstances but just having that head knowledge that awareness 
does not make it your experience the knowledge of the conditions is someone learning now that means your knowledge is not complete until you find out the conditions or the demands that activate the promise you just learned about the knowledge of the conditions the requirements to activate the promises this is what the bible calls understanding no wonder it says in all you're getting get understanding is it in your bible you now see that a good man of god should not just give you knowledge according to jeremiah 3 15 if a man of god gives you knowledge alone that may not do you justice it must be knowledge awareness and then understanding an in-depth explanation of the demands and the dynamics that activate and release that promise leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 the lord commanded moses 9 and 6 this is the thing which the lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the lord shall appear unto you now you can read that the glory of the lord should appear and just stand there and say i know the glory of the lord will appear and nothing happens because there is something that you must do i submit to you that many believers have done well in terms of you know giving themselves that spiritual orientation to know that which has been freely given to us but very few believers have gone past the realm of knowledge to comprehension understanding no wonder many believers say it is all up to god if god is going to do it he will do it no there are many things god wants to do but he's restrained by our ignorance understanding deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 deuteronomy 28 and verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass popular scripture if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god to observe and to do take note all his commandments which i commanded this day so that is the condition what is the result of that condition the lord thy god will set thee on high above all the nations of the earth you know why I use this scripture all the time? Because it has become a personal revelation for me. Believe me. I studied this scripture until I truly believed it. And I found the conditions. And I said, that's it. Verse 2. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee. If thou shalt hearken to the voice of the Lord in john chapter 2 the wedding in cana for sake of time we'll just go straight to verse 5. mary is giving them a very powerful counsel hallelujah john chapter 2 the wedding in cana the bible says his mother saith unto his servants the wine finished now remember and you know they were getting embarrassed and they came to plead with mary to talk to her son jesus and the mother said don't embarrass me while we are going now make sure as you are following me you are determined to do whatever he tells you that is my counsel his mother said unto them whatsoever he saith unto you do it it is more than saying it it is doing it god can say unto you you are blessed but if you don't do that which activates the blessing you can remain with knowledge you are not in ignorance and yet never walk into the experience of it everybody say knowledge number two say understanding one more time say knowledge number two say understanding now let me give you something very powerful the knowledge of the truth i wrote here and the understanding of the conditions that activate the truth equal revelation the knowledge of the truth and the understanding of the conditions that activate that truth is what is equal revelation so don't you say i have revelation of scripture if you just have knowledge no for you to say you have come to a point of revelation you must have knowledge you must have understanding you may want to write for remembrance knowledge of the truth plus understanding of the conditions 
equal revelation. No wonder Apostle Paul taught the church in Corinth. He was praying. Ephesians 1 and verse 15. Now you will understand by this expression I just gave you. Wherefore I also, we're reading to 17. It says, after I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and love unto all the saints, 16. It says, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers. Can we read verse 17 together? One, two, read. That the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of revelation in the knowledge. Stop. Are you seeing now? In the knowledge, in that knowledge, that is where you find revelation. Knowledge is like a shell. It carries within it revelation. Knowledge is the parable of the ten virgins. Revelation is the depth and the spiritual meaning that you can draw from it. Knowledge is reading the story of Israel. Wow, you mean this guy suffered like this? But Pharaoh must be a wicked man. He didn't even pity them. Knowledge. Are we together? Revelation is now where you understand that they are passing through the Red Sea is a type of the new birth experience that separated them with Egypt forever. It didn't separate them from enemies, but it separated them from Egypt. Hallelujah. Most people do not have revelation. That is the reason why they cannot walk in dominion. We pride ourselves, respectfully speaking, especially in the body of Christ. We pride ourselves as men of God, pastors, apostles, teachers. There is so much knowledge. But believe me when I tell you there is little revelation. Because once revelation comes, that's what you call light. Knowledge is the bulb. Understanding is the switch. Revelation is the light. You can be in a room, the bulb is there, the switch is there, but you are still dark. So if the problem you need is not a new bulb, the bulb there is working. The problem is not the switch, it is not spoiled, yet the light cannot come. For someone you already have the bulb, it has been there for decades. The switch is there, even written on slash off. And when demons want to punish you, they will block where the switch is so that you cannot even see it again. But when you come for koinonia like this, among the many things that God does, is he shows you that there is a beautiful bulb there, the knowledge you already have. Then he shows you the switch. And then he says, Apostle, now I leave the rest. And then I will lead you and say you should own it in such a way that the light comes on it and tie it to remain on there. So that there is no more darkness because he called the light day and the darkness he called night. So light is not just, day is not just the passage of time I have taught you. Anytime your light comes, your day has come. Even if it's by 12 midnight, once your light comes, it no longer becomes night. The sun will no more give you sunlight by day. The moon will no more give you moonlight by night. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world He heals all the bruises inflicted by His world Hallelujah Someone light is coming for you now In the name of Jesus Christ with light there is confidence when there is darkness you walk gradually your hands first or your feet first you are not sure of what will hit you 
something will hit you and yet you cannot know but right now once there is light you can run around the room so there is speed with light he'll be your glory your strength and your sight the light of the moon will be like the light of the sun and the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright listen brothers and sisters we must obtain grace from god to move past the realm of knowledge as important as it is and then with understanding that brings you to the realm of revelation is someone learning ordinance number one a recap knowledge knowledge of the truth knowledge of the promises awareness of what god has left in store for you ordinance number two understanding a comprehension of the demands please underline it's tied whatever you need to do that means before you think of approaching any matter find out do i understand the demand or the requirement to activate it number three someone ready for number three the third key is the faith to engage the principles faith to engage the principles you have knowledge you have understanding so now you have revelation but you see knowing what to do and knowing how to do it does not mean it will be done i have taught you extensively on faith but permit me to just touch even if it's just a scripture i have taught you that faith in one word is obedience every time we talk about faith let it not be a complicated concept in one word faith is obedience everywhere you see the word faith in the bible you can almost satisfactorily replace it with the word obedience and you will not be in error faith in one word is obedience a better expression the action you take based on your conviction of who god is and the integrity of his person that is called faith and the bible says this is the victory that overcometh the world even our actions of obedience faith hebrews chapter 4 we'll read verse 1 and 2 then we'll jump to verse 9 and we'll end at 11. the bible says let us therefore fear lest a promise being left us of entering into his rest any of you should seem to come short of it verse 2 it says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them so two categories of people us and them but the word preached did not profit them it didn't release to them its potentials not being mixed with obedience are you seeing now not being mixed with action in them that heard it verse 9 there remained therefore precious people of god a rest they are the people of god but there is a kind of spiritual sabbath financial sabbath that god wants to bring you into verse 10 it says we're reading to 11 for he that is entered into his rest he hath also ceased from his own works as god did from his here is the charge let us labor therefore what is the labor the labor of faith the labor of believing the labor of understanding and the labor of acting let us labor to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief everybody say faith without faith there is no dominion if God has told you that you can step into financial dominion now you know that the promises are there for you and then you learn by by scripture the principles that are allocated for dominion now you know your own commitment it is up to you now to begin to manifest faith the giving experientially the diligence the value the connection strategically through relationships all of these things until you do them you are not walking by faith 
faith is not saying what God has said it is only part of faith real faith is doing what God has said you can say what God has said congratulations confession is important we are getting there but you must do what God has said now let me teach you something very quickly according to scripture there are three levels of faith we we'll find somewhere now I think just one two more points and then we'll pray I need to teach you this there are three levels of faith because you have an assignment to grow your faith the pace with which you believe and obey God is the pace with which you keep getting results even dominion number one the Bible identifies a condition called no faith mark 4 from verse 35 to 40 mark 4 from verse 35 to 40 no faith and the same day when the even was come he said unto them let us pass over to the other side uh-huh and the Bible says they left the multitude and then they sailed to the other side verse 37 the Bible says there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full 38 the Bible says that Jesus was at the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow and they awake him and say unto him master carest thou not that we perish that means anxiety is proof of the absence of faith 39 he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto it peace be still and the wind ceased and there was a great calm now 40 and he said unto them why is it that ye are so fearful how is it that ye have no faith it is possible for a believer to have zero faith the same way you score zero in a subject you can have zero faith john 20 27 john chapter 20 and verse 27 remember thomas our wonderful thomas with every time we have blackmailed people with thomas's and, and every time they say Thomas, we mean somebody who does not believe. But that's not true. Thomas had the courage to come close to Jesus. What of Thomas being intimacy? You see? What of Thomas being intimacy with Jesus Christ? Then he said to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither my hands, and thrust into my side. He says, And be not faithless, but believing. So you can have zero faith. Shout God forbid. Let the devil hear you. No faith. Number two, we have small or weak faith. The Bible tells us that we can have small or weak faith. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 30. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 30. It says, Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall ye shall he not much more clothe you O ye of little faith matthew chapter 8 and verse 26 matthew 8 and verse 26 he said unto them why are ye fearful have are you noticing that there is always a relationship between fear and no faith or little faith O ye of little faith he arose rebuked the wind and all of that and then um one last scripture romans chapter 4 from verse 18 and 19 this is abraham now god's god's expression of faith and the blessing the bible says who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken so shall thy seed be 19. the bible says and be not weak in faith be not weak in faith so you can be weak in faith and one of the ways you become weak in faith is by considering by creating logic how will god do this the bible says they limited god in the wilderness by saying can god make a way hallelujah then we have strong or great faith strong or great faith just write for reference we may not read it matthew 15 21 to 28 talks of strong or great faith but we'll read romans 4 and verse 20. romans 4 and verse 20. still talking about abraham 
he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So we see that there is no faith, there is small or weak faith, and there is strong or great faith. Some of us are on zero faith. You are welcome hearing the word now. We'll start priming that, that condition. And then many of us have remained at the realm of small or weak faith. But I pray that everybody that we join this category of they whose faith is very strong. If you believe that, say amen. amen. Ordinance number four. Am I right on that? Ordinance number four. These are the authorized pathways in the spirit for dominion. Remember, number one, you must have knowledge. Dominion is knowledge dependent. Awareness of the promises. Awareness of truth. Number two, understanding. A comprehension of the demands and the principles that activate the promises and commit God. Then number three, you must be ready and willing to act and to act completely. Now number four, the fourth ordinance of dominion is called the power of words. This is a kingdom that operates by words. This is a kingdom that is voice activated. Dominion in this kingdom is voice activated. The power of words. This is where the ministry of prayer and the ministry of prophetic declaration comes. The ministry of prayer falls under this ordinance of words. The ministry of prophetic declarations and decrees falls under the ordinance of words. There is no true dominion in silence. Words have to be captured for dominion to be established. Hallelujah. Now please look up. If words are that important as far as activating and establishing dominion is concerned, you now see why things like prayerlessness are a disaster. That if you are not prayerful, you will destroy your, your life and your destiny and sabotage your potentials for walking in dominion. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 3, And God said, words, And God said, Let there be, and there was. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 4. We are looking at the fourth ordinance. The Bible says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. Say, I am royalty. One more time, say, I am royalty. That means your words should not be without power, but there has to be words first before power. Where the word of a king is, some of you, as you said, I'm royalty. The devil said, even you, you better say it again. Say, I'm royalty. Because when you say I'm royalty, this, 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 some of this, the way some of us have suffered and we've been defeated by Satan, you know, he just tempts you and say, you better don't say that. Those who have power are saying it. And you who just came to church for the first time, you are also saying you are royalty. Yes, sir. If he talks to you like that, tell him it is written is greater than what I'm hearing. I've told you. You don't have to feel like royalty to say you are royalty. The baby who is born from a royal palace, the baby does not even know that he or she is royalty. But it does not change the fact anyway. Are we together? Mm. He has made us unto our God kings and priests. I wanted to say, say you are a king, but if you say you are a king, ladies, if you say you are a queen, somebody will say queen of the coast, and that's why I said, say royalty. <laughs> I'm not queen of any coast. You are royalty. Seated with Christ. Listen to me. In the realm of the spirit, there is no male declaration or female declaration. There is no male prayer or female prayer. Are we together? There is only prayer that works or prayer that does not work. Watch this. The Bible says in Job 22 and 28, we're still looking at the power of words. Thou shalt also decree a thing, the Bible declares, and it shall be established unto thee. Who is the thee? The thee who made the decree. 
not just he who was watching as they were making thou shalt decree a thing please i want you to understand that the dynamics of dominion demands that there must be words there must be words that is why the assignment of depression is to bring you to a point of silence where you cannot speak what is wrong i know god can do it that means close my door go out of there but for someone even with no money in your pocket you will declare walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost i am favored. i am walking in abundance moving with the speed of the holy ghost I In the name of Jesus Christ. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our home page for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Kateka Kos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko to break a take a legata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.